boys would play this composition. I mean, definitely no surprise whatsoever. The boys are going to be locking in their best composition. But M2KC with a little bit of a read here. You have Jamili on that Elemental Shaman we were talking about. Rub Cub on the Restoration Druid. We'll see if they finally come up with some sort of an answer for this composition. Yeah, the answer that we've seen from North America was Cloud9's Mage Warlock Druid, which M2KC tried to pull out. But this might just be very effective as well. Thugonomics low on health. Incredibly low on health, only trading out Blur, I believe, throughout this initial assault. It's not the Vendetta. He doesn't want to overcommit. Manages to avoid death by just dancing around his opponents with those fell rushes. Play Dance trying to avoid some more damage as well. Lightning Lasso peculiarly was cast there on Gareki. Usually you'd want to be using that to maybe prevent an interrupt, so I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that. Big Smoke Bomb play on Thugonomics, but he Gladiator's Medallions out of the Smoke Bomb. Gareki as well. Now stabilizing. Thugonox is taking a lot more damage than I would have anticipated, but so far he's surviving. Yeah, Jamili, of course, known for his mage gameplay, but also playing the Elemental Shaman, the Balanced Druid, uh, lots of different mage, uh, lots of different caster um, classes at his disposal. And it's nice to see him multiclassing a little bit here, bringing the Elemental Shaman. I think it's a really strong class right now. Really powerful role, and I think it pairs nicely with their team. Had good pressure so far in the match on Thugonomics. And because Thugonomics has been under so much pressure in this matchup, it's been really difficult for him to land those mana rifts. And as a result, Rub Cub, he's actually way ahead on mana. I'm wondering if Gareki played the Shaman instead of the Druid almost anticipating this Elemental Shaman Rogue because he's so well known for Druid. Thugonomics is taking quite a bit of damage in this position. The next kidney shot actually could be lethal if they get crowd control on Gareki at the same moment in time. Gareki crosses midfield, so he's exposed to crowd control potentially. Rub Cub sees that, pushes forward, goes for Cyclone, gets denied, kills the grounding totem, goes for Cyclone again, gets it. Thugonomics could be in trouble as a result of Rub Cub's crowd control. He's getting bursted down, tons of damage, very low on health. Spirit Link Totem will save the day. There's a surprising amount of pressure from M2KC. So far, so good for them. Rub Cub looks to sit down for a drink or generate mana. Smacks and snipes him and denies it. M2KC make a swap to Gareki, looking to catch him off guard. Double stun combo. Rub Cub dodging the mana rift. Gareki still low on health, barely holding on here at the pillar with that astral shift. Commits the earthen wall totem as well and is still struggling. Yeah, definitely struggling. Finally in Ghost Wolf, trying to get away. Rub Cub throws in one more maledic trinket. Gareki in uh, Ghost Wolf, going to be running away, popping the ascendance to try to get some healing on himself. Rosie still just all over him. And right now, M2KC, they've had a surprising amount of pressure so far in this matchup. Gorecki's really struggled, finally topping all three members off. If we look at mana, finally those mana rifts are starting to develop themselves. Rub Cub at around 50%. Gorecki does have a lead, and it's going to be up to Rub Cub in this matchup. Is he ever going to be able to sneak away for a drink? Have M2KC figured out an answer for this Demon Hunter Death Knight? If not, this is going to be a clean sweep for the boys. Yeah, it'll be 0-12 and 12 to this composition in a row for M2KC if that ends up being the case. Gareki comfortably sitting through a full blind and a hex. If he gets away with sitting through both of these, that would be quite impressive. But at the same time, the longer it goes, Thugonomics dips low. Another stun as well. Roasty's reconnecting. Not enough damage. Actually going after Rub Cub a bit, trying to target him down. He doesn't actually have too much mana and appears to be struggling to this swap. Managing to finally recover now. Thugonomics stunned away. Gareki crowd controlled by Jamili. Big damage incoming. Earthen Wall Totem is placed by Gareki. This should stabilize Thugonomics, although at low health, desperately in need of some healing waves. Connecting some now and stabilizing. Roasty is a bit on the back foot. Rub Cub getting gripped to Smexen. Thugonomics wants to swap. They get the Fell Eruption. They deny the Mana Rift with Lightning Lasso. That was well done from Jamili. They buy Rub Cub some extra mana as a result of that instant reaction time from Jamili. Yeah, good reactions from Jamili. It's going to be really important in this matchup. Either Jamili or Roasties is shutting down Thugonomics. Thugonomics in a little bit of trouble, trying to dance around. There's a Chaos Nova onto Roasties, still trying to get out of line of sight. Roasties with the Shadow Step. Thugonomics not out of it yet. Gorecki doesn't have the Spirit Link Totem. Vanish, Garot gets cast out. Thugonomics still in a lot of trouble. Anti-Magic Zone just trying to soak up some damage, but these Demon Hunters are just so durable. Gorecki does manage to keep Thugonomics alive. Good teamwork there by the boys, and they do manage to hold on, but at what cost? R Rub Cub, he's in stealth for a little while. Is he going to be able to recover all of his mana? If he is, it's going to be big trouble for the boys. They are trying to crowd control Gorecki as he crosses midfield. If Gorecki gets Cycloned or Hex, it could be curtains for Thugonomics. Tipping lower and lower. Rub Cub gets denied on the Cyclone, but now Smexen is maybe they don't even need it. This is a lot of damage. Gorecki really struggling, and the boys going down. M2KC, they break the slump against a composition. They were zero. Not 
One thing for sure, one thing is for sure, every time we see M2KC, it's always roasties on the assassination rogue. They've really liked that specialization. I think for, you know, the better part of a couple of years, it seems to be what they primarily run. That's been the main focus of their team is compositions with that assassination rogue. And it's a really aggressive play style in a lot of the compositions they run. They like to play aggressive. They like to keep their opponents on the back foot. And that's been sort of uh, Jamili special since we've really seen him compete. He's always been the, the, the player to really push the pace early on. Rub Cub under fire. Good initial assault here from Chun-Li and Smex. And what is Rub Cub going to do? Does manage to escape for now. Chun-Li taking a little bit of damage. Full blind of Gorecki. He trinkets out but it is going to be Jamili that's under fire. Yeah, Jamili is taking quite a bit of damage early on from the boys as they mix it up with a two-pronged assault towards Rub Cub and Jamili. Finally connecting some regrowth, perhaps stabilizing, looking to counter aggress. Chun Li is forced to trade, but it's not really a force. He just wants to stay on target and finish this game very quickly against the Mew Mew Kitty Cats, keeping up their momentum. Chun Li switching maybe to Roasties. No, charging back onto Jamili as Rub Cub is stunned up, not able to heal. Chun Li cycloned at low health on the diffused magic, denying some heals, then switching the cyclone to Smexin. Lightning Lasso dealing a ton of damage on Chun Li. So it does appear to be Chun-Li is the priority focus for M2KC. Jamili, the primary focus for the boys. That means those two members of the team are going to have to be very careful to keep themselves alive based on positioning. Grecki is just already sitting down for a drink. I believe he was actually significantly behind Rub Cub. The boys looking for a swap to Rub Cub, actually. I like the ping-ponging, but they are burning a lot of defensive cooldowns to play this aggressively, creating potentially an opportunity for Roasties to make a play with Vendetta soon. Yeah, big heals on Chun Li out of the off the back of that huge drink Gorecki was able to get. Chun Li can stabilize. It's a great position for the boys. You know, Rub Cup hasn't had to use too much mana so far in this matchup. Still, Chun Li and Smexin that are all over him. Jamili trying to find some counter pressure onto Chun Li right now. And that kidney shot into Lightning Lasso is a devastating combo. This is what we're going to see right now. We need to see Smexin get the interrupt on the Lightning Lasso. Or it could be big trouble for Chun Li. Lightning Lasso. Gets out of that with the everyman for himself racial fortifying bruise gonna be traded out as well and big pressure for the boys All three members are rotting down rub cub is really struggling He's trying to just tank through the damage to bear form He does manage to escape but in the meantime Rosies and Jamili have been getting cleaved from the windwalker and the death knight Yeah pressure on a three targets for the boys where it's only pressure Whoa. on Chun Lee Rosies is just likely to fall here in the asphyxiate barely surviving shadow stepping and stunning Chun Lee to hold on by a thread the boys' damage across the board is just so much more significant. Although you can't count M2KC out, their burst potential is definitely there. At any moment, they could eradicate Chun-Li. There's a moment of opportunity, though. Chun-Li has touch of death, and there's really limited defense for M2KC. So if Chun-Li can stay on target with that ability, he's more than likely going to be able to close this match. So let's see what Chun-Li looks to do. Who is he going to go after? Are they going to grip Rub Cub in for a double stun? That makes the most sense to me at this point if they can get roasties and rub cup stunned and swap to roasties instead going for yeah, a stun a million roasties and setting up but no touch of death uh, maybe they're waiting for iron bark chun lee's playing it out as patiently as possible Gorecki gets swapped to big attempt here from roasties to get a kill but ring of peace pins roasties away slightly from Gorecki. he is able to survive the stun be into bear form and survive rub cup is crowd controlled still no touch of death attempt from chun li waiting for the perfect opportunity i, I suppose gripping rub cup in getting bark skin with the earth with storm earth wind and fire but that's not really the cooldown they wanted to get they would have preferred an iron bark i feel like i can't help but feel that chun li is is waiting for a perfect moment that isn't just it's just not happening and the longer he waits the more likely astral shift becomes available they stun up roasties they're not really going after him. Smexin is just soloing Rub Cub around the corner. Chun Li's getting 1v1 by Jamili. This fight is splitting up. It's quite chaotic. Uh, definitely very chaotic. Chun Li taking some damage right now. Gorecki still under fire. Rosie's all over him. If he can get a kidney shot outside of bear form, Chun Li trying to babysit. Gorecki, the best he can right now, keep him alive, force Roasties off. Roasties need to be very careful that he's not getting caught up into those double leg sweeps. Chun Li's very good at baiting people in, getting the double stuns. Does manage to find it. Good death grip coming in from Smexin onto Rub Cub. Now making a big swap. Iron Bark looking to deny a lot of the damage on Chun Li. He's forced to use the Diffuse Magic as well, but that wasn't on a Gladiator's Maledict, so doesn't have that as an option if Roasties, Jamili, and Rub Cub decide to pull the trigger on those trinkets. Jamili's still low two defensives available which one's going to be used both at the same time big mistake from m2kc 
Although they've got a tiny bit of a mana lead. Perhaps that could be the factor. Greki knows it. He needs to get a drink, but he's not able to. He gets blinded. Unfortunately, oh. breaks. That's very bad for Roasties. That could have been a big moment for his team to get a lot of pressure, at least get the Gladiator's Medallion from Greki, and now it's basically just thrown away, so any advantage that they had is effectively lost. Nice thunderstorm on the Fist of Fury, denying some damage from Chun-Li on the part of Jamili. Greki again sneaking away. I believe Rub Cub is doing the same. Both Druids need to try and regenerate mana. Perhaps they just go for an equal exchange. Rub Cub says no way, moves forward, stops Greki from drinking. I do think that it's more favorable for uh, Rub Cub to drink. The consistent pressure from the boys should be higher and more difficult to heal through when on low mana as opposed to Gorecki being low mana. So I feel there's more pressure for Rub Cub to regenerate mana as soon as possible than Gorecki. But Rub Cub keeps chasing Gorecki around maybe and trying to stop him rather than looking for a drink himself. Double leg sweep. Chun Li uses Touch of Karma aggressively to swap to Roasties. He is responding appropriately, faint, no overreaction from the side of M2KC, and now Chun-Li on the run. Yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble. He's got no touch of karma. Anti-Magic Zone gets dropped out, but he just rolls out of it as quickly as possible. It was overlapped with the smoke bomb, so not the biggest of deals. Chun-Li with really not too many defensives left after this fortifying brew, sells the defuse. Rosie's taking a little bit of damage to Millie as well. Rub Cub's mana is not great. The boys do have a mana lead at this point and a pressure lead. Rub Cub caught who and asphyxiates down. Iron Bark, Barkskin, overlap. Gladiator safeguard, panic mode here for M2KC. What is Rub Cub gonna do? Touch of death is rolling. Rub Cub has to start getting some heals on himself. Does manage to semi-stabilize, but he's still not out of it yet. Big push from Chun-Li there, finally committing the touch of death. I really want to know why he waited so long to do it. I feel like he could have gotten at least two more touch of deaths in the amount of time that he's waited for just that one attempt and could have actually just used it to run Rub Cub out of mana faster. So perhaps a mismanagement there, waiting for the perfect moment and just never finding it. Greki is crowd controlled by Jamili, but Jamili's under pressure. He's not able to really utilize the effectiveness of it too much for his favor. Fortunately, Rub Cub has Innervate. That makes his healing free, so he can get through this next couple of seconds A-OK. -okay. But as it subsides, the pressure is going to mount. Greki's trying to sit down for a drink. Rub Cub and Chun-Li can easily stop it. They grip Rub Cub in. Smexen swaps. Chun-Li isn't. He's more worried about just trying to stay alive. Greki should be able to maintain him with Iron Bark, though. Now Chun-Li looking to switch to Jamili. It's very difficult to call as to who is ultimately going to take game number two. They're so evenly matched, and mana is totally equal. Defensive cooldowns equaling out as well. Roasties can make a big power play with Vendetta. Perhaps that could be the factor Ooh. to kill Chun-Li. Chun-Li in midfield. Jamili looking to try and cast out some chain lightnings, develop some Maelstrom. Defensive Hex on Smexen. Gorecki moves forward, dispels it instantly. Rub Cub's trying to drink while two members of the team are low. He managed to at least get a couple of ticks. Very nice. Slight mana lead, but is crowd controlled and can't use the mana that he just got, so that could be devastating. Gorecki blinded up, decides to use Gladiator's Medallion, gets bashed on the Gladiator's Medallion. I don't think Rub Cub should even go for the clone. He's just going to get interrupted. It's going to cost too much mana. They get the touch of karma from Chun-Li. So Chun-Li has very limited defense to stay alive. Gets beautifully cycloned on the anti-magic zone at low health. Well done from Rub Cub. Rub Cub then chasing down Gorecki maybe to stop a drink. Roasty's looking for a re-stealth opener and then chase down Chun-Li. Not able to get the re-stealth. Chun-Li is terrified right now. If Gorecki does not get Iron Bark before being crowd controlled, he is likely to die. So Gorecki is not going to risk that. Commits the Iron Bark before any crowd control is even tossed his way. Rub Cub sees maybe a chance to sit down for a drink drink, but Smexen is all over him with those ghoulish undead creatures chasing him, poking him, making sure that he never drops combat, but Touch that tiny death. drink is keeping Rub Cub in the game. Chun-Li makes a push, but he has limited defense. Touch of Death doesn't even scratch Jamili here. Astral Shift is more than enough. Perhaps M2KC can get a kill. Finally, Gorecki totally tapped on mana. Yeah, Chun-Li's portal is in the open as well. He might have to use it. Is he going to relay his portal? It's not in an ideal location right now, so can't completely rely on that. Diffuse magic is up. Rosie's there. Chun-Li denies any sort of kidney shot with the Fist of Fury. Rolls away. Good and uh, evasive maneuvers by Chun-Li on the Windwalker Monk. Gorecki has no mana left to work with whatsoever. Smexen trying to develop some pressure by sitting on top of Rosie's. I like the denial. Lightning lasso on Chun-Li. What is Rosie's going to do? He's able to reconnect just a little bit, but Rosie's is in some trouble. Mm -hmm. Rub Cup, he needs to find some heal. He pre-faints the leg sweep, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. And ultimately, the boys will claim game number two. Really well done. Wow. I, I, I actually feel like... Just to see how the Death Knight Demon Art performs with Gorecki on Druid as opposed to Shaman that he was playing in game number one. It should provide more sturdy heals throughout the early game. And 
I don't think that they will fall behind nearly as frequently, so Thugonomics will be able to go for more mana rifts, and if he can go for more mana rifts at a faster pace, then he will run Rub Cub out of mana. I love these stun timings on, on the side of M2KC. So when Rub Cub gets stunned by Thugonomics, he wants to combine that with an ability called Mana Rift, which, if the healer stands still, will remove a percentage of their mana away. But Thugonox will be on global cooldown after stunning, which means he can't immediately use Mana Rift. So there's a split second where they can break up that Mana Rift stun chain, and they've been using Lightning Lasso and Kidney Shot to do it. So Roasty stopped one Mana Rift. Here he can't stop this one because he is stunned as well. So finally, one Mana Rift connecting. Roasty's though looking to counter engage with the Smoke Bomb. We see the anti-magic zone exchanged on that. Thugonomics doesn't even seem to care, just recklessly charging out of it, going back immediately onto Rub Cub. I will say that the boys are playing this a lot more aggressively, and they can get away with it with the Druid as opposed to the Shaman, and perhaps Rub Cub will be put more to the test now because of Gorecki's changeup on that healer. Yep, we'll have to see how exactly that plays. Rub Cub's still under fire. Thugonomics trying to land those consistent mana rifts like we kind of talked about, but he's been getting denied every step of the way. Roasty's then Jamili doing a great job with the counter stuns. Thugonomics under fire right now. x 6 is going to be cast out by Smex and onto Jamili to try to slow down some of that damage. If we look at mana, there is a slight lead right now for the boys, but and 2 kc they've been doing a great job slowing down the mana rifts and as a result, extending Rub Cub's mana. All right, Rub Cub doing a good job so far here against the boys' relentless train down strategy. Rub Cub crossing the midfield, looking like he wants to crowd control Gorecki. Stuns him, not looking for a Cyclone, a Hex instead by Jamili. Gorecki unable to heal for some time now, but did get Iron Bark anticipating that attack and crowd control, so the Iron Bark basically made Thugonomics take no damage while Gorecki sat through the crowd control of M2KC. That was a good read on the side of the boys. Now Rub Cub on the back foot, looking to kite and avoid both the Death Knight and Demon Hunter. At the same time, stop Gorecki from drinking, so high value positioning there from Rub Cub. But you can already see a significant lead in mana. The strategy is proving to be a lot more effective from the boys. The Restoration Druid could be the difference here, and M2KC may have to come up with a different composition to take down this variant. Rub Cub is under huge pressure right now with limited defense, coming out, surviving with that Frenzied Regeneration. But now, with no trinket as he is running relentless, every stun will sit. Shadow melts the Glider's Maledict. Well done from Rub Cub. Pressure will Ooh. subside as a result. Looks like Gorecki was trying to get away, but Roasty's actually switching to Gorecki. So maybe a healer race. If it's a healer race, I feel like the Assassination Rogue can actually win that race having the Mortal Strike effect as opposed to the Demon Hunter and Death Knight who do not have that. The Mortal Strike effect being a debuff that reduces healing on a target by 25%. So any target Roasty's attacks takes 25% less healing. Whereas Smex and Thugonomics don't have access to that debuff, so they're not going to have that extra healing reduction added to their team. So if it ends up being a healer race, I think it would be oh in favor no. of M2KC. Look at M2KC. Rub Cub, he's been in stealth forever. He's going to be able to get so much of his mana back. Drinks about 50% of his mana. Now M2KC actually has a lead. Smexon was able, unable to find them with really good positioning. Rub Cub was able to get out of combat, get a drink, get in stealth and that keeps them in the game. There has been good pressure on Gorecki, like you were saying, Sid, and I think that's going to be really important for Rossi's and Jamili. Eventually, they can take him down. If they get a big setup with the Elemental Shaman burst available, they could easily snipe a kill on him, but the problem is if you leave Smex and Thugonomics on Rub Cup too long, they will burn through his mana, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Gorecki forced to use his bar skin. He's got no trinket. If he can't recover and he gets caught in another stun, could be lights out. Could be lights out, and then M2KC will put the boys on match point and perhaps throw a curveball for their blind pick. They don't have to play this composition blind. They could try maybe the Paladin Mage Elemental if they really wanted to give it a go against the boys just to see what happens. And then in their game five, where they have the map selection and comp pick, they can set up a more favorable matchup. Grecki gets stunned out of bear farm. This is atypical of Grecki and a big mistake. Thugonomics is crowd controlled and can't help him. This could just be game over. Oh! One mistake. Game over, M2KC moved to match point. I, I think one of the big, you know, their spring season of performances to actually make it through to North America's top three in the first cup of the season. And Grecki, he's gone for a really defensive build here. There might be an opportunity for Jamili to get back at Sidu for his comments about Championship Sunday. They're performing a lot better here in the summer season for sure. They've prepared this composition, the Rogue Elemental Shaman Restoration Druid, and so far has at least broken their slump, taking some games now off the boys and putting them on match point in the upper bracket. 
They've broken through the Gliders Medallion of Gorecki. That's a major objective to get out of a healer in a, an arena 3v3 match and could open opportunities to switch targets to Gorecki later on. He's got to be prepared for that. In the meantime, the boys are just gunning down Rub Cub and have pressure on Roasty, so it's difficult for him to be in bear form, but does manage to get into bear form for the stun. Although he's able to escape ma the mana rift purple circle effect on the ground, avoiding its mana draining effects. Rosti is still low. Jamilia is surprisingly low. The pressure from the boys is much higher here in game number four. Yeah, definitely solid pressure here for the boys. If you look at mana, Gorecki sitting 100% mana at this point of the game. Rub Cub's been struggling a little bit more. The stuns from Rosti and Jamilia haven't been there quite as frequently on Thugonomics. And Thugonomics has actually opted to go back to the Gladiator's Medallion Trinket Choice, so he's going to be able to break out of stuns on command, which makes me think Jamili and Rosti's, they need to be focusing him again, making sure they're getting those long kidney shots into the lightning lasso to sort of slow him down. Because on this map, I feel like the boys realize it's going to be really difficult for Rub Cub to escape. All of this damage they're doing to his blue bar, to his mana bar right now with these mana rifts is going to be permanent. There's not much likelihood that at any point he can really sit down for a drink. So I feel like that was part of the boys' strategy in picking this composition. Imprison mana rift combo with Ursula's Vortex to make sure it lands. The boys are a lot more focused here. They're on match point. They can't afford any mistakes. They've cleaned up a lot throughout the series. And perhaps if they play perfectly, this is a matchup that they should actually win. Big burst attempt here by M2KC onto Thugonomics. Gorecki deflects it. Then Gorecki moves in to try and crowd control, but gets intercepted. Although denied by Thugonomics. Good backup there on his part. Another mana rift secured. A significant lead already established. Nice map selection on hook point. It's going to be basically impossible for Rub Cub to drink, barring some massive mistakes on the side of the boys. Another attempt at Thugonomics' is life. No iron bark available for this one. Gorecki gets interrupted. Rub Cub looks for a cyclone. The pressure is still on. Lightning Lasso dealing a ton of damage, but Thugonomics appears to be A-OK. -okay. Catching a quick heal with a swift mend, and most importantly, the burning soul Azerite trait on the demon hunter. Every time he casts the spell Consume Magic, it removes a magic effect from the target and also gives him a gigantic absorb shield. So anytime he comes out of a stun, he's going to be using Consume Magic. Then swift mend will heal him up, and that combination is almost guaranteed survival. So to kill the demon hunter, you need to make sure they die when they're stunned, and you need to make sure that the Restoration Druid is unable to cast Swift Mend. If you can create that situation, then you most certainly can kill the Demon Hunter, but if you can't create that situation, then it's going to be very difficult to kill him until dampening. Yeah, one adaptation I've seen in this game in particular is Smexen. Instead of going after Jamili in the matchup, which is kind of difficult, he's just sitting on Roasties. So Smexen sitting on Roasty with the Chain of Ice, with the Asphyxiate stun, is trying to free up Thugonomics because Rub Cub is basically in a situation where he has to be running away. It's very easy for Thugonomics to chase him down. Roasties, however, he wants to be on top of Thugonomics as much as possible in this matchup, and Smexen is just making his life a living hack right now, spamming out the Chains of Ice with the Death Grip with the Asphyxiate Sun, making sure he has a very difficult time landing these consistent kidney shots. All right, double stun. This is the situation that we like to see from M2KC, but really not enough damage to force the boys' hand. They're just playing a lot more solid in terms of basically everything all around, defense and offense. Could be an opportunity for Roasties to make a power play and switch to Gorecki. That is actually the disadvantage that the boys get on this map. Sure, they can burn down the mana and stop drinks, but Gorecki is a lot easier to target down. Although they're not going for it, they're currently attacking Thugonomics. Maybe just outright killing them. This is a surprising amount of damage on the Thugonomics with that Consume Magic Absorb Shield from the Burning Soul Azerite trait. Soaks up the remainder. Thugonomics now in Metamorphosis, and while he is a gigantic demon Illidan cosplayer, he heals himself with Leech. Every attack he does heals him, so similarly to a vampire. Unless he is stunned, he's going to be healing himself up quite easily and totally recovering. Thugonomics playing the vampire class. Kitty shot now on Smexen. Good damage coming in. This is what I want to see. I want the pressure on this Death Knight. They have really good burst damage. Cheap shot into Cheap shot. Smexen just completely disregarding that setup. Still has the Icebound 4 to 2. The anti magic cell, the trinket, but he opts to not trade out anything, not giving it even an inch to M2KC. 
making him an opportunity or a takedown target, potential target in this match. Smexin still under fire, and I think this is intelligent. They haven't been able to get too much done on Thugonomics with Smexin just sitting on Roasty, so they've decided to just switch up their targeting, going after Smexin. In the meantime, Rub Cub is just getting chased down by Thugonomics. He now has free reign all over this restoration druid, and Rub Cub is completely out of mana. Yeah, Rub Cub is just going to run laps on the outskirts of the map, but trying to run laps against a demon hunter you're never going to win that marathon thugonomics will be on target smexon isn't really going to be pressured until deeper stages of dampening and i don't think that rub cup has the mana to make it Icebound Fortitude for the Smoke Bomb is still a fair trade. Smexin gets to get on target. Rub Cub in a lot of trouble. He's going to struggle. Two members of the team low on health. Zero mana to heal them back up. And if he leaves Bear Form, he takes a lot more damage. So he's going to go in and out of this Bear Form perfectly to heal his teammate and himself. I mean, both teammates now. Three members of the team in trouble. This is looking like it's going to be going to a Game 5. Definitely is appearing that way. M2KC is running out of time. They have to make something happen on Smexin, but Gorecki completely deflects that with the Iron Bark. Rub Cub, what are you going to do? Jamili, 30% health. Roasty's 30% health. Rub Cub now finally getting a little bit of hit points back for himself, but Thugonomics just all over him, not giving him an inch. Now Smexin, Thugonomics are going to be going after Rub Cub. Innervate, the last thing he has available to keep his team alive, and he gets imprisoned on it. Bit of a disaster moment here for Rub Cub, but going for the tranquility, looking to get as much healing out as possible he might be able to semi recover a 10 percent dampening what? it's unlikely right now but he holds on a little bit with that innervate why did thuggan why did thugonomics use uh, that's a mistake he used darkness his biggest defensive cooldown for no apparent reason and now smexon actually may die big mistakes i would say in general on the darknesses from thugonomics in this series 20 seconds to vendetta if rub cub can keep this up if rub cub can keep this up they're going to advance in the upper bracket but he doesn't have anything to work with he's stun locked in midfield he's trying to escape jamili gets interrupted on his support thugonomics is tearing in rub cub barely holding on gladiator's maledict gets shadow melded by rub cub holding on by a thread smexin in trouble perhaps an opportunity to kill him momentarily iron bark is about to fade roasties can go on all cylinders to kill this death knight shortly perhaps they can pull off the miracle if they get any crowd control into Gorecki, a bash, a cyclone, a hex, anything, maybe they don't even oh, need whoa. it. There's no defense if they can kill him in the stun lock. They have no to kill way. him 100-0. Where's the lightning lasso? They get no the way. lasso, they break no it up, way. they go down. I can't Dig believe it. mistakes by Thugonomics' darkness this entire series, actually, and M2KC are looking like they should be able to advance. Gorecki taps out. Yeah, normally Rub Cub's on the Holy Paladin to get those kind of miracles, but really holding it down on that restaurant. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.